Hi guys! I am welcoming you to my very first vlog. Um, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a review on some granola or energy bars um, that you can find at your regular grocery store. I find these at the grocery store that I normally shop at, which is Kroger. Um, and I am, I am a dog walker. I do that for a living, uh, full time. So I need these granola bars, um, actually for like a meal replacement during the day. Um, so if you want to see a review of some granola bars, um, then keep watching. Okay. So the first one that <clears throat> I'm going to review and show you is the cliff bar and i've tried a couple of different flavors and the white chocolate macadamia nut is the flavor that i find i like the most um and they're really good they're very dense um but i realized that they have 21 grams of sugar in them um, and I'm trying to cut back on sugars. So I <laughs> recently decided that I'm going to start trying some different, you know, meal replacement bars because that just seems like it's a little bit too much sugar. Um, like I said, it's very dense and it was like something that kept me satisfied for at least a couple of hours. Um, and if you want to know that it's 260 calories tastes really good um, and like I said they do have a couple of different flavors but um, I realized that most of them are like around the 21 grams of sugar um, amount so yeah I had to cut back on these a little bit although they are pretty good for um, like a little dessert type of thing um, but yeah, it's, it's organic and everything, so that was one of the reasons why I originally started eating these made with all organic ingredients. So, the second one I'm going to show you is, I picked this up recently, the Luna Protein Chocolate Peanut Butter Bar. Um, and I picked this one up because, let's see, what was the... It has 13 grams of sugar. This one is 190 calories and don't like it. It is very dense and I, you know, like when you pick it up, it's, it's pretty good weight. Um, so I was like really excited to try this and it just wasn't that good. And let me actually show you opening it. So here it is. It looks like a Snickers bar <laughs> um, and it just doesn't taste like one. Yeah. It has like a very artificial taste to it. And this was something I found in like the organic section. It's gluten free, low glycemic. I'm not even sure what that means, but this is what it looks like on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. It looks like pure peanut butter covered in chocolate. But yeah, guys, it has like a very artificial taste. Um, the third one I wanted to show you is the Larbar. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, this flavor is the Cashew Cookie. Um, this only has two ingredients. Um, the ingredients are, where does it say it? Somewhere on here. <laughs> um, I think it's like cashews and dates. Yeah. The ingredients are only cashews and dates. So I was super excited about that. Um, and this is 220 calories and the sugars where are the sugars? 15 grams. It's pretty dense as well. Um, so I was excited that maybe this could be my new replacement meal. Um, but I don't know. Still not as good as the Cliff Bar. It is actually pretty sweet because of the dates, though. 
and I'll show you this one as well. So, this is what it looks like. Basically just, I mean, it's like I said, it's pretty dense. Mm. Like I said, it's pretty dense. Um, it's not too bad. I mean, it tastes pretty good for only two ingredients. But, I don't know, it just, there's something about it that I'm just not crazy about. Like I said, it's pretty sweet. And this is the flavor that it's the cashew cookie, like I said. Um, and I, I did try a different one. I think I tried two other ones. It was like, one was I think like cookie, maybe cookies and cream. I could be totally wrong about that. I didn't like that one. Um, and then the other one was like pecan pie. That was really good. But I actually couldn't find it in a multi-pack. So that was disappointing. And the fourth one that I'm gonna show you is the Kind Breakfast Honey Oat Bar. This says it's gluten-free, no genetically engineered ingredients, five super grains, and the sugars on this one is nine grams. So that's the lowest of all four of these bars that I'm showing you. Um, and it has 220 calories. So, out of the four, this was probably my favorite. Now, I've tried other granola bars um, as like meal replacement bars, and these are my top four picks right now. Actually, sorry, that was wrong. The Luna bar is not one of my top four. <laughs> I don't know what would replace that one, but um, I definitely will not be getting the Luna Bars anymore. Um, let me just show you this one. Oh, the only and the only bad thing is that when I'm eating these in my car, um, they're kind of crumbly, which the other ones are not. So I don't know, but I don't know if you can see. It comes with two separate bars in here, and like I said, they're like they're like a sticky. Um, they're really good. I like them. Um, and this is the honey oat flavor. So I haven't tried the other flavors, but there are a few more. You can find these in um, probably in your local grocery store. I didn't have to go to like Whole Foods or Fresh Market or anything like that to find these. Um, and uh, yeah, that's my review on those and I'll link um, these down below. Yeah, I mean, let me know what you guys thought about that review. Um, I plan on doing more videos like this. I really like just reviewing products and um, I think for me, um, I really like seeing people in vlogs like review products and kind of get the feel of what they think of them um, instead of just like reading reviews. Um, so yeah, that's just what I think about these products. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you liked this video, don't forget to su subscribe and um, I hope to see you guys soon and yeah, hope you like this.